Let's check out the difference between whey and casein on a protein banana bread. Hi, my name is Philou and on this channel I show you low calorie recipes that could help in a weight loss journey. And today I will show you how to make a protein banana bread, which is basically a cake. So let's get into this video. Always start with the dry ingredients, I will show you later why. I will start with throwing 120 grams of oats in a blender. I will close the lid and blend it up for 30 to 60 seconds until I have a very fine flour like this, you see? After this I will take a big bowl and throw in my flour, followed by 60 grams of protein. And I made two recipes, one with casein vanilla protein and one with a whey chocolate protein. Next ingredient is 30 grams of stevia and the last dry ingredients are 4.5 grams of baking powder and 1.5 grams of baking soda. Now it's important to mix everything so the baking powder is combined with all of the flour. Next step are the wet ingredients. I will start with 100 ml of almond milk, then I will use 100 grams of egg whites and one entire egg. I always use an egg to add a little bit more creaminess. And then 100 gram of skewer of fat-free Greek yogurt. The next step are the bananas and I will use two ripe bananas, throw them into a little plate and squeeze in the juice of half a lemon to add a little kick. Now we'll take a fork and smash the bananas until you have a little paste like this. If the bananas are very ripe, it is way easier to smash them. The bananas get into the bowl with the other ingredients and then I will add two optional things. First is one tablespoon of cinnamon and then I will take a ginger, remove the skin and press the juice into the bowl. Now we'll use a hand mixer and mix everything until I have a very creamy consistency. Next part is to take a baking form, add a little parchment paper and lay in the entire batter of the banana bread. This now gets into a preheated oven for 45 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. After that let it cool down for 1 to 2 hours before you eat it. Now this is the difference between whey and casein. On top we have the whey powder and looks like an actual cake. Meanwhile the casein protein looks a little bit weird and didn't even rise properly. Whey protein is the winner of the looks, but who will win the taste test? Definitely whey. So whey protein is way better texturized, also the taste, even the smell. So I think that if you bake something, whey is always the better option. Because casein soaks up so much fluid that it almost gets like gummy bears. It's, it's a little bit weird though. I think that if you bake something, always whey. And if you make something that has to be thick like protein ice cream, or if you want a, a thick oatmeal, then casein would be the better choice. But baking though, it's definitely whey protein. This tastes really, really good. So the entire recipe has 1100 calories. So if you want, you can put another banana in it. Just think about the added calories. This is great as a breakfast with some Greek yogurt and some berries on top, or even as a dessert with a little bit of whipped cream or a little bit of ice cream. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Give this video a like. Oh, oops. Give this video a like, subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one.